Happy National Coming Out Day! Yeah, if you haven't heard, that's today, and it's super exciting. There are uh, lots of people talking about their coming out stories, and lots of uh, people coming out, and awesome. I'm so, so proud of you. I'm so excited. I'm so happy, and I am glad that you have uh, been able to take that step. Um, I do want to talk a little bit about my coming out story. I suppose that's what today is for, and there is some, some, some positivity to be shared there. But before I do that, there's something that I do want to talk about. National Coming Out Day and I have a sort of complicated relationship. <laughs> um, I can remember before I was out, uh, by the way, my name is Micah Sargent, I'm bisexual. A lot of you who are probably watching this video already know that, but uh, you know, I did that a while ago now. <laughs> um, so uh, before I was out, uh, I can remember National Coming Out Day coming by every year and me feeling such such sadness and such guilt and such fear and such anger at the fear and anger at my cowardice and all of those things, you know, all of this negativity surrounding this day when it's meant to be this positive, exciting, wonderful day. Well, that is what I want to touch on. You know, a lot of people, in fact, friends that I've communicated with today have discussed that feeling of pressure, of needing to, of feeling like today's the day that they have to come out. And if they don't come out, then they feel this guilt and they feel this, again, this, this, this anger over being a coward or something like that. And it's so important that you know that I... And the people that you care about and the people that you love and the people that love you and truly value you for who you are, aren't holding you to any sort of expectations or standards surrounding this experience. This is your experience. This is your opportunity and your decision to make. You get to choose when you come out and whether you come out today or you come out yesterday or tomorrow or in five years, I'm proud of you and I don't hold it against you and anyone who's worth your time doesn't hold it against you or shouldn't hold it against you that you didn't choose today to come out. I am a firm believer that ultimately we really do know what's best for us. Every single person knows what's best for them. And if we're not in a situation where we feel safe or we're scared or we're just not ready, then you shouldn't feel pressured into, into making a decision that you're not ready to make. And, you know, that goes back to my own experience. There were several times where I was this close to just going, I have to do this because so many other people are putting their lives on the line and risking this and, and uh, taking that leap and I just have to do this too. But then wouldn't have been the time when it was time, it was a good time. And I firmly believe that if it happened before that, it would not have been as wonderful as it turned out to be. And so I really do think it's important that you listen to that internal voice and you, you listen to yourself and you, you suss out the situation around you because it should be a safe situation and it should be a a situation where you, again, you truly feel ready. So please, if you are spending today thinking to yourself, I, I should be coming out today. I should be sharing this on Twitter. I should be sharing this on Facebook. I should be telling the world. And for some reason, you just can't. You don't have to. You don't have to. You can do this when you're ready. And if what you feel you need is just a little encouragement, then hey, listen. You're awesome. You're fantastic. I think you're great. You can do this. I'm so excited for you. But again, if you're not ready, that's okay. That's okay. You can take your time. So there you have it. I've given you permission to take your time. And I'm talking to me five, six, seven, eight years ago when I was sitting on this day going, why can't I do this? Take your time, Micah. It's going to be okay. You just got to do it on your time. So that's that. Just please know that this is this is such a personal and internal experience that you get to choose when you're ready to share this and you should not feel any sort of 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 strings tugging at you that you don't want tugging at you it's okay 
So moving on, um, I suppose I should talk about uh, my coming out experience. Um, I, I had it, I had it in my mind that I was going to have to make the choice between my family or the person that I was with and that I still am with that I love. I was convinced that it was going to be my family or it was going to be my partner Shane and there was no way I was going to get to have both. And the biggest reason is because my family is pretty conservative um, and is a uh, very religious family. Um, Oddly enough, I still consider myself, oddly because for a lot of people that the two don't, uh, they don't gel, but they do. You just uh, have to be a decent human being and uh, everything's fine. So yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm a faithful person and uh, surprise, I believe in God, but it's okay because I also believe in science and evolution. And I also know that it's uh, okay for me to be in love with a man. So <laughs> uh, there's no worries there. But my, my point is, is that you know, my family, because of their beliefs and because of my beliefs at the time, I knew that there was no way that both things were going to happen. There was no way. It was not going to be possible. In fact, I was convinced that I could come home and tell my family, tell my mom that I had killed someone. And that would be more acceptable than to tell them that I was in love with someone of the same gender. Well, <laughs> I spent a lot of time um, with my partner explaining to him that, you know, I would eventually tell my family and I would eventually lose my family, but I wasn't ready to do that yet. And finally, one day, uh, I jokingly call it uh, my calling out because my mom, she called me out. She did. Uh, I got a message because we often communicate in messages and uh, do calls later. And <laughs> I got a message that said, you know, if I'm an important person in your life and Shane's an important person in your life, I was just wondering when you were going to tell me about him. Uh, my mom sent me that message and my heart dropped and my stomach probably fell out and my I don't know, I, my skin fell off and my hair fell out, everything. I was so scared, I was so panicked. But I took a second and I sent back a message and said, Mom, it's because you're such an important person in my life that I haven't told you about Shane. And we hopped on the phone and it was... A wonderful time it really was we you know she, she told me that she knew for a long time and she was waiting for me to tell her and I was certainly not going to tell her because I wasn't ready to lose her and so she called me out and you know I just have to think back to how absolutely 125,000 percent convinced I was that there was no way at all whatsoever that my coming out experience was going to be a positive one and yet despite that it was so I suppose all of that's to say, you know, there are, I'm sure a lot of you out there that, uh, that think that it's not possible that your family could accept you, that your friends maybe even could accept you. But um, I think a lot of you are going to end up happily and pleasantly surprised. That said, I know that that's not the situation and that's not the case for everybody. And, you know... In those situations, it's, it's something that I understand that fear and I understand uh, the situation that happens there because, again, this was something that I was so certain was going to happen. And so that's why I think it's so important and why I encourage you to make sure that you know you're in a safe, safe place, a safe environment, that it's a good time, that it's the right time to make this call, that it's the right time to share who you are with the people that you care about. Because ultimately, that's the most important thing, is your happiness and your safety. So... I guess I just want to round things out by saying your family, the people that love you 
and the people you love oftentimes could surprise you. And you really, even when all hope seems lost, which was in my situation, you know, I was 100% convinced that all hope was lost, that it wasn't going to happen and everything was okay. You know, it can, it can work out that way. So there's no reason to lose hope and, uh, consider that the people you care about will surprise you because if there's one thing I've come to understand in this short life I've lived so far, it's that love is a very powerful force. And I know that's such a cliche, but listen, it's true. Love is so incredibly powerful. And as a faithful person, that's what I believe is spreading love and knowing that love wins out against everything. And it's the reason that I still have my family and I get to have the partner that I love. And it's the reason that so many people out there feel empowered on this day to share that part of themselves. And I want you all to know, and I mean this, I truly do. I love you. I do. I love you and I love that part of you that you've chosen to share today or you've chosen to share in five years or you've chosen to share yesterday or five years ago or 10 years ago or whenever. I love you and I love that and I think you're awesome. So happy National Coming Out Day and uh, thanks for sticking around if you watch this whole thing. Um, yeah, I have uh, open DMs on Twitter and um, open email, uh, first and last name at Gmail or at me or uh, first name at imore.com. Send me messages if you, uh, if you need any help, if you need somebody to talk to. Um, I'm here and I love you.